So on number one, you have to add both functions. Now remember, when you say f of x plus g of x, you're really saying this plus this. This is your f of x, this is your g of x. This is just the name of it over here. f of x is this, g of x is this. So when I say f of x plus g of x, we're really adding this binomial with this binomial. So it's as simple as that, that f plus g of x, this is just notation, but the actual work is 2x plus 1 plus the x minus 3. So normally it's a good idea to plug in with parentheses, but right here it's pointless because there's nothing to distribute. You're not multiplying, you're just combining like terms. So when you combine the 2x plus x, that's really 3x. When you combine the uh, 1 and the minus 3, that's a minus 2. And that's your answer for that part of this problem, adding f of x and g of x together. So then you're supposed to subtract. So if we subtract f of x take away g of x, right, that's going to be the 2x plus 1 minus the g of x function, and the g of x function is x minus 3. So right here it is important that we use parentheses because you need to distribute the minus sign into both terms. So you're going to have the, you're going to have a negative x and a positive 3 instead of a positive x and a negative 3. And then you could combine the 2x with the negative x, and that'll be 1x. Then you could combine the minus 1 with the plus 3, and that'll be plus 2. And this is the answer for the f minus g of x. Let me just write the notation right here. f minus g of x. This is the answer right there. So it's all pretty straightforward. If you were going to multiply f times g of x, then you take your f of x function, 2x plus 1, and multiply it by your g of x function, which is x minus 3, and you have to distribute the way we normally do, 2x times x, 2x squared, 2x times negative 3, negative 6x, 1 times x is positive 1x, and 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and of course combine your middle terms. So when you're thinking of f times g of x, the answer to that would be 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Minus 5x minus 3. And there's your answer for subtract or multiplying f times g of x. And the only other one you have to do, the final one, is f divided by g of x. So f divided by g of x, I want to do up here. So f divided by g of x, that's the notation for you to take f of x and divide by g of x. So f of x is 2x plus 1, g of x is x minus 3, and there's nothing to do. Sometimes you'll be able to cancel or factor and cancel. Right here you can't do anything, that's your answer. But you need to state also that x cannot be 3 because if x were 3, that would be 3 take away 3, I'd make the denominator 0, which would make the whole thing undefined. So that's the, the four steps that you need, or four types of questions that you need, to, you need to do for each question on one, two, and three. Let's look at the uh, middle section here. <clears throat> Eight through 13, we said we wouldn't do nine or 12. Which one would you guys like to see? So let's take a look at number 10. Oh yeah, by the way, remember there's a typo here in my part. Uh, that should have been an H right there. Instead of F, that should have been an H. So it's H of X, not F of X. Okay. So what we're doing is finding both G of H of X and H of G of X. So let's go to number 10. So on number 10, we're going to find H of G of X. I put G of X in red so you could see what's happening here. What we're going to do is take the G of X function and plug it inside the H of X function. So let me ask you this. If I told you, if I asked you to do H of 5, what would you do? You would plug in 5 right into your H function and you'd go 5 squared and then times 3, right? If I said find H of 1, well, you plug in 1 into your H of X function 
1 squared times 3, get your answer, and that would, be, that would be it. But I'm not giving you a number. I'm giving you a function to plug into another function. So I want you to take the g of x function, the x plus 6, and put it inside the h of x function. Okay? So, again, the h of x function is simply 3 times x squared. But instead of x, I'm going to put parentheses... And like I said, if I would tell you find h of 5, you'd simply plug in a 5 and work it out. But right here you have a g of x that you're plugging in. So I'm actually going to plug in this x plus 6 right in there. There it is. x plus 6 is right in the parentheses. It's in red because the g of x function just plugged it right in there in red so you could see it. Now we still need to work this out though. Okay. Now keep in mind, this guy, this is the work. Plugging in g of x into h of x. Let's work it out. You're going to have to do exponents before multiplication. So you're actually going to have to, let me zoom in on this. You're actually going to have to do the x plus 6 squared, which means x plus 6 times x plus 6. So when you work it out, you'll get x squared uh, plus 6x plus 6x plus 36. So you're going to end up with x squared plus 12x plus 36. So this binomial squared, x plus 6 squared, is really this quadratic trinomial. So let me rewrite this thing. 3 times the quadratic trinomial x squared plus 12x plus 36. And now we need to actually distribute the 3 to each of those terms. So your final answer will be 3 x squared plus 36x plus 36 times 3 is 108, I believe. So there's your final answer for doing h of g of x. So that's barely one way of doing it, h of g of x. They also want you to do g of f of x. I mean, g of h of x, I'm sorry. So we plug the g into the h. Now they want us to plug in the h into the g. So the notation for the other one is going to be g of h of x. Maybe I should have done the h of x in a different color. So we're going to plug in the h of x into the g of x. So the g of x is in blue and the, the g of x is x plus 6. So you'd have parentheses plus 6. And what are we plugging into the g of x function? We're plugging the h of x function, which I'm going to do in red. And the h of x function is simply 3x squared. So I'm going to plug in 3x squared right in there. And now I do the math. There is no math to do. There's no distributive property. There's no combining like terms. So that's your actual answer, 3x squared plus 6. That's the answer to the g of h of x right there. This is it, 3x squared, whoops, 3x squared plus 6. So let's jump to the third part. Which one would you guys like to see? Which one would you like to see? 17? 17 and 18, why not? Okay, so 17. Guys, it's this simple. I'm going to be dealing with the f of x function and the h of x function. And up here you have f of x, g of x, and h of x. So you've got to know which letters, which functions you're dealing with. And you always start from the inside to the out, all right? So on the inside, you have a negative 9. And what are you going to do with that negative 9? You're going to plug it into what? Uh, into your H, right? Oh. So if you see H up here, it's X plus 4. So what am I going to do? I'm going to plug in negative 9 right here into the X spot. Does that make sense? So what is my answer if I plug in negative 9 into the x spot of the h function? Negative 5, negative five right? So we know that h of negative 9 is negative 5, right? h of negative 9 is negative 5. So all I'm going to do is take that answer and plug it in in place of the h of negative 9. So I'm really going to have f of negative 5. And now let's think about f of negative 5. Here's f of x. I want to plug in a negative 5 right there, so that's really going to be instead of x squared, it's going to be parentheses squared, and I'm plugging in the negative 5, so what's my answer? 25. 
Okay, and technically, technically this stuff could be done in your head. If you think about it, you could go like this. It could be, okay, negative 9 into H. Okay, here's H. Let me put a negative 9 right there that gives me a negative 5. So this answer is negative 5, and then I take that answer and plug it into F. Negative 5 plugged into F, negative 5 squared is 25. Boom, there's the answer. You got it? I mean, you could show your work. Let's jump to number 18. Check out number 18, guys. And you know what? Let me do this. Let's do this in our head first. Now, what I did right here is I just copied them from the instructions. I copied them right here so you could see them right next to the problem. So let's, let's ignore the, the H part. Right here it says G of negative 3. What does that mean, G of negative 3? Plug in negative 3 into the G function. Okay, so in our heads... If I were to plug in a negative 3 into the G function, negative that's negative 15 because 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, right? So this is really negative 15, which means now you're going to do H of negative 15. This is, this is doing the math without, without showing the work. So if I do plug in negative 15 into H, what's negative 15 plus 4? Negative 11. Negative 11. There's your final answer. What? We did all that. We, we did the answer. We found the answer without doing any work. So, once again, the G of negative 3, if you actually did that, that would be 5 times negative 3, you get negative 15, right? So what you really have left is H, but you know that this is really negative, or 15. So you have H and, fi and negative 15. Sorry, that is a negative up there. So you really have H bracket negative 15. And how do you do H of negative 15? You simply plug in negative 15 in place of X on your H function. So here's your H function. Let's plug in negative 15 right there. And that'll be negative 15 plus 4. And that gives you a negative 11, which is your final answer.